thank you everyone and it's a pleasure to be here. As you heard, my name is April Jasper. I'm an optometrist in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I'm actually a member of the Scientific Advisory Board for Inovia. I'm here to speak for Inovia today, and I'm the medical monitor of their chaperone study. So Inovia is a public company, and as such, it's important they have information that they post about forward-looking statements. And I also want to let you know that the products that I'm going to tell you about today are investigational and are not FDA approved. So Inovia's technology, I've already had people coming up and asking me, centers around the delivery of topical ophthalmic drugs in an amount that's equal to the tear film. And the way this is done is actually by um, using a, what I, I like to call, it's like an inkjet printer. And so you know how an inkjet printer works, but basically what happens is they print these drugs on the surface of the cornea. The device that uh, is not a device, it's a dispenser, and everybody's going to walk out and look at it and think that it is, is the OptiJet. I encourage you to go out and try it. But basically, it's a dispenser. And what happens is Inovia's products are all being developed so that the OptiJet is the container closure system for the drugs. What's really cool and one of the benefits of that is that they're able to use one-fifth of the amount of the drug as they are using it in this dispenser. And that provides also the potential benefit of efficiency, safety, and ease of use. So this is not an actual image, but what this is meant to do is to kind of give you an idea of why Inovia chose array printing technology for their dispenser as opposed to a single aperture. And the way that is created is by using several micro nozzles, and basically what they are is three to four dozen actually, that when a directed plume is then used, it will actually display a two centimeter wide area on the cornea. Again, I encourage you out to go out and try it today. So there are several studies though, phase two and phase three studies that Inovia has completed that help us to understand that this is not just theoretical benefits, but actual benefits that we've seen. So look at the first one, that is the phenylephrine study. And it shows that microdose delivery of phenylephrine was associated with significantly less systemic exposure. Microdosing in the second picture you'll see of a glaucoma drop shows less hyperemia in the glaucoma medication that was microdosed as opposed to the one that was used with a traditional dropper. And then the madriasis study has actually been completed. And if you look here, you'll see that there was impressive efficacy and still only one out of 131 patients had any stinging when this was used, even without anesthesia. So now when you go out and see it, you'll see how easy it is to use, but there's data to show that as well. So four studies combined show that for technicians and patients, technicians basically nine out of 10 times were able to instill this correctly patients as well on the first try. And here's the really fun thing, is that children, we found, are actually better at this than adults. And so as you look at this, what's also interesting is that past data shows, historical data shows, as you see on the slide, that less than 50% of patients are able to instill a standard eye drop correctly the first time. So there are three clinical programs that Inovia has currently. One is Micropine, which is the pediatric myopia program. The other is MicroLine, which is the Presbyopia program, and then MicroStat, which is already completed. So if we look at the chaperone study, that is the myopia one that is actually of two formulations of atropine, 0.1% and 0.01%. But you have to remember you can't compare it exactly with the same concentrations as used with an eye drop because it's only utilizing one-fifth of the amount when it's microdosed. This is the only, the single required study for chaperone, and it actually, the primary endpoint is change in refractive error from baseline through 36 months. The presbyopia studies are both identical, vision one and vision two, two double mass placebo controlled superiority trials, and those, ex both of those are expected to begin and be finalized in 2020. Again, one fifth of the amount of the drug will actually touch the eye and so because of that, the company is going to be looking at tolerability data as well. So the Madriasis program is complete. It was completed last year, and uh, the MIST studies have been talked about already significantly, and uh, Inovia is actually 
planning their NDA filing for later this year. If approved, it'll be the very first and only FDA-approved fixed combination of tropicamide and phenylephrine. Like I said before, it was uh, found to be impressive efficacy. That again, you see easy to administer 90% success with each installation by technicians and no discomfort reported in 97% of the study subjects. Thank you. <laughs>